Hey everyone, it's Natalie from This and That, or all of This and That over on Instagram. I'm a wife and dog mom living just outside of Dallas, Texas. Today we are going to do a bathroom refresh as we deep clean and redecorate my guest bathrooms. I can't wait for you to see the transformation that just a handful of new items has made in these spaces. I hope you come away with some inspiration to make a space in your house your very own. All right, let's get right to it. I am so excited to do this video today. This is something that I've been wanting to do since we moved into our house almost two years ago. It is redecorating our bathroom. So let me back up just a little bit before I show you the bathrooms. So when we moved into this house, we were very fortunate to get lots of different things from my mother-in-law. She um, had a house here in Texas, but she was uh, had went to Oregon and decided to live there for a little while. So she bought and furnished a townhome while we lived in her home here in Texas. And then when she moved back, we got our own place, but all of that furniture and everything from Oregon she um we got that from her and so most of the things around our house are not like decorating choices that we made not saying that they're not great they are we are definitely super fortunate to get all of that stuff but i haven't i've been slowly making my way around to kind of put our own touch on things so if you've been following here you know i've been doing a lot of decluttering i have gone through my entire house and my reward for myself is to do a few little like room refreshes. Now, I don't wanna to spend tons of money. I also don't wanna to get tons of like decorative stuff because I am going for a minimal look. So basically what I'm gonna to do today is replace some of the items that are already in here with things that I feel are more us. And then I'm gonna turn around and either donate or sell those things that I'm getting rid of today. So without further ado, let's head into the first bathroom. I'll show you what we're going to be replacing. Here we are in bathroom number one. This is our guest bathroom. It is a great little bathroom. Hello. So it is here on the first floor of our house. My office is right next door. So I consider this to be my bathroom. So it's gonna get redecorated with my touch. You can see we have some beige rugs, which are doing fine right now, but I think this will be a fun way to change them and really brighten up the place. We have a trash can and tissue holder that match. I actually did buy those. And then as you can see, I am using this huge soap refill as a soap thing right now. So one of the things I wanna get is a soap dispenser. I'm also going to be looking today, I don't know if I will purchase, but I'm gonna be looking for white towels that are textured, um, just so that they're a little fancier, but they're still white so I can wash them with all of our other towels. So in this bathroom here today, it's gonna to be just some small changes. Um, mostly the rugs will bring us some fun new color, a new soap dispenser, and potentially some new towels. Let's now head up the stairs and into our second guest bathroom. So here is another bathroom in our house. This one is actually a full bath. It is on the second floor of our house and is a great bathroom for like our guests and for people that are staying with us. So you can see we have sort of like a black and gray and silver theme in here which I have to admit is really not my jam. So we're actually gonna spend a little more money in this bathroom because we're gonna be replacing a few more things. I'm gonna start with the shower curtain and get some new rings as well. Once I pick out a shower curtain, I feel like that's gonna set the theme for this bathroom. So I don't really know what I'm gonna pick, probably something pretty neutral, but maybe with a little bit of color. And then we're going to replace these rugs here, and that of course will bring more color to the bathroom. All of these silver accessories um, go together, so I'm gonna be looking for a new trash can, but I don't believe I'm going to replace the tissue holder or the toothbrush holder, because when we have guests here, honestly, like all of these drawers are empty, and so they can just use the drawers like for their toothbrush. And then, um, so I'm not gonna replace that, but I am going to get us a soap dispenser so that we don't need to buy any more of these. We've actually had these for years. We're just trying to use them up, um, but that will help us to at least reduce a little bit of plastic. And then again, towels. I'm thinking the same towels 
for both guest bathrooms just to make things simple and easy. So shower curtain, rugs, trash can and soap dispenser and this will be a brand new bathroom. So before I went to the store, I made a list of the items that I was looking for, and then I looked online at Walmart and Target to get an idea of what those would cost. I ended up estimating about $200 for the two bathrooms between all of the rugs, accessories, and the shower curtain that I was looking for. All right, I just got to Target. I'm hoping that they will have most of what I need. If not, I'm also going to stop by a Walmart. Um, but I'm just trying to find, you know, the best deals and still really cute stuff I've saved and set aside for this little refresh and I'm really excited to do it. So, safety first and then we're going to go in. It doesn't look too crowded because I've come pretty early and um, I will show you some of the fun things here at Target. Well, that was a lot of fun. I don't know if I have ever just gotten to like decorate a room, honestly, because growing up, I always just like got what was handed down to me. So it's been really fun just like getting to choose everything for a room as small as it is, as small as a bathroom is. Um, but I realized that like I got a couple things. Um, I got everything that I needed. A couple things I decided not to get, like I did not get any towels and I kind of changed things around a little bit. So with all that said, I realized I was going to come in pretty far under my budget. And so I decided to grab myself something I've been wanting for my master bathroom for a while, a little treat. So I can't wait to show you that. It's a surprise. It's really not that exciting, but I'm excited about it. So total, I spent $155.21, which is about $45 under um, what I had set aside for it. So that's pretty good. Um, that means that if there's anything, once I get the bathrooms done that I'm like, you know what, I think we're still missing something. I can go grab that, but I am sweating sitting in this car with no air. So I'm going to get home and we're going to clean up so that we can decorate. I am back home from shopping. Actually, I've been home for a little while, had some lunch changed because now we're going to get to do the dirty work, which is cleaning. So I am going to clean both guest bathrooms and then I also I cleaned our master bathroom yesterday like steam the floors everything like sinks counters toilet but I have not cleaned the tub and shower in a while so I need to do that so the other bathrooms we just need to clean like sink toilet floors and I'm going to throw the old rugs into the wash I'm going to try to see if I can't get a couple bucks for them on next door if not no big deal. I'm going to take them to Goodwill and go ahead and get those out of here in the next couple of days because I have new rugs. So we do not hang on to stuff um, that is extra like that because it's honestly not a need. Like if something happens to our rug, we can go with a bare floor <laughs> for a little while. Anyway, um, so let's do some cleaning and then we can reward ourselves with the decorating. I've been dreaming all night. Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one But baby I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever I am very curious how often 
do you clean your bathrooms? Once a week or maybe more or less, once a week seems to do okay for us and Toilet Tuesday is usually my day to get the bathrooms done. How old were you when you learned how to clean the bathroom? I want to say that I was around eight years old, but I asked my mom and she thinks that I was probably 10. I do remember that as soon as I learned how to do it, it was my job for eternity. Once my little sister with whom I shared a room and a bathroom was old enough to do it herself, I was already out of the house. Okay, just wait until you see the massive difference that changing the shower curtain makes. It is absolutely night and day, and I can't wait for you to see the shower curtain that I picked out. I think another thing that would completely change the look of this bathroom is if we got a framed mirror. I'm not really sure why the builders decided to put lovely framed mirrors in the other two bathrooms, and then this one got stuck with a frameless mirror. It wasn't an investment that I was quite ready to make on this day, but I don't think it would be too expensive if we decided to change it down the road. It has been a few months since these cabinets have been wiped down, so all I'm doing is using my cabinet solution, which is just hot water, a few drops of dish soap that I swirled around so it didn't get too sudsy, and a cloth, and we were just gonna wipe everything down. We need to do this in all the bathrooms. If you're looking for a good steam mop, this one is from Shark and it works great and it isn't terribly expensive. I will have it linked on Amazon down below. Are you so cute? <laughs> I have been avoiding cleaning the tub and shower for so long, honestly. I don't like doing it. I think it's because it makes me like, I don't have a spray thing in my shower or tub. Maybe that's what I need is one of those connector things where I can like spray and hose down the tub and shower. That would make things so much easier. But anyway, it still needs to be done because it looks like a mess. I have this cabinet behind me, it's a disaster. It's stuff full of bathroom cleaning supplies that I inherited from my mother-in-law when she was moving and she had like all these extra supplies. And so rather than just get trashed, I'm trying to use them up. So that's why you see me using, if I haven't explained it already, kitchen cleaner in the bathrooms because I don't like it in the kitchen. So I'm trying to use it up, but I feel like I can get through most of this today. It's pretty empty. It works great. It's just very like kind of 
hard to breathe, but I'm gonna spray this here. I think it can do, I definitely have used it in the shower. I swear I just saw the word tub somewhere. I don't know, but we're gonna spray it. It's actually pretty cool because it's blue, but this is not a repurchase. I'm just trying to use it up. So let's clean some things that I've been avoiding. Trying to get away from this life I'm living Same old things every day Wanna change this feeling Wasting no more time Don't care about what you're saying Try to keep me down No time for all your playing Yeah, even if you doubt me now All right, I think I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> I just can't do it. I need something that is safe, like a spray that is safe, that I can actually get in the shower and feel comfortable like rinsing down. I need a, I need a spray shower head too, for sure. But some kind of cleaner that I could do like, when I get into the shower, I can clean down, spray down, and then like take a shower and not feel like everything is toxic around me. So yeah, I think it's time for that to go. Let me know your suggestions for like natural cleaners or how you clean your shower that's easier than that. Although it does look really good, right? It's really sparkly and clean now. So let's move on to the tub and then we might toss the other cleaner too. Is this even working? I don't think this is working. I think the nozzle must be broken or something. So now I can easily get rid of this and I guess we'll use that kaboom one more time and then we are done. I don't even know what to do right now. My tub really is like so shiny and clean. I could like fill the grittiness from this like all the bath bombs and bubble baths that I do and that is finally all gone. So I will say it does clean really well, but man, do I struggle to clean this. I decided to use a magic eraser on the bottom of the shower since it always looks pretty grimy and I was shocked with how well that it worked. I can, see can you see that? Oh my goodness. Wanna get so numb, wanna get so numb, we enemies? Okay, who is ready to decorate? We've been working all day for this, so let's reward ourselves and let's decorate some bathrooms. With all of my new decorating items, I am going to link everything that I can find online down below. All of my purchases, with the exception of one thing I pulled from another area of my house came from Target within the last few weeks. You got me feeling kind of crazy. You got me feeling like my head is spinning around. The way you look is so amazing. All right, let's look at the before of this bathroom with the beige rugs. And now with just a few small changes, let's look at the after. We're just dancing in the dark in the flashing lights. I know you can't hear what I'm saying, I'm saying. So I'm just gonna hold you closer. You take me higher when we're together. It feels like you set my whole world on fire. I know I want you, I know I need you here. So I actually learned a few things when doing this shower curtain. 
One is that these hooks are made to have the liner on one part and the shower curtain on the other. And two is that some shower liners have 10 holes while others have 12. All right, remember how dark that curtain was before and just look at the bathroom now with this nice, light, bright curtain. Here's one last look at the bathroom with the dark curtain and silver accessories. And then just look at how completely different it looks with a new shower curtain, some new rugs, and less clutter. And back up in the master bathroom because like I said earlier, I had a budget in mind. I had saved money for these projects and I ended up spending less. And honestly, like stop there. <laughs> if you're coming in under budget, like getting more stuff, I mean, obviously it's up to you. But there was one thing I have been wanting for a while and that is a new alarm clock. So I actually keep my alarm clock in my bathroom. So for reference, alarm clock here at my sink. Hey buddy, and bedroom door right there. And I sleep right there on that side of the bed. So I can hear, even though we keep these doors shut, I can hear my alarm clock. And I like that it's not lighting up the room. I like that if I wake up at night, I can't see the time. I keep my phone in a drawer um, and it's been really great for me. But like the alarm clock I have was free. <laughs> That's the most attractive thing about it though. Um, so I have been thinking for a while, like if I see an alarm clock I want, or if we have a little extra money, I will do that. But alarm clocks are like 20 bucks. And honestly, we have been focusing on other things. So when I realized I had money left in this bathroom budget, I thought, perfect. And I still came in under budget, so haha. <laughs> but I'm really excited. This is so cool. It is see-through. So I'm about to set it up and get my alarm set for tomorrow. And then I'm gonna still keep my other alarm clock for now, just in case this one doesn't wake me up. Cause if it's not loud enough, it's gotta go back. So, but I'm excited. It's really cute. It's fake wood, by the way, plastic, but I love it. That is so cool. I should have had it on film, but I plugged it in. I was like, oh my gosh, so much cooler. Thank you so much for watching this bathroom transformation today. Now these aren't the only spaces in our house that need a little TLC. I will be sharing a few more small room refreshes with you throughout my fall videos, so stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.